Hello all, welcome to Think Automation YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Qtus, Tosca and other Tricentis product, then this is the right YouTube channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video so that the content will reach to more people like you. All right, the topic for the day is how to automate zip and unzipping your files and folders with a single module using Tricentis Tosca 2024.1. In the recent version of Tosca, Tosca introduced a new module called Zip and Unzip that will help you to do zipping and unzipping your files or folder, either it is single or multiple. You can do that with single step now. Till now, you would have done that using PowerShell script or other command line scripts. Now you can do this with the help of standard module itself. All right, let's get into the live demo now. So if you go to your standard module, you need to re-import your standard module as part of 2024.1 so that you will get your newer modules for this. Right. Under file operation, you'll be able to see a couple of new standard modules. Those are all zipping the file and other one is for unzipping the file. Right. Now let's see how we can use this module and what and all actions we can perform, all, all those stuff. Right. First, let's talk about zipping the files or folder. There are uh, multiple ways you can do zipping. Either you can you can zip a compress a single file or compress a multiple files into single zip file or compressing multiple folders itself into a single zip file. All these actions are possible using the tbox zip file action uh, standard module. Right. Let's go by one by one now. So I have already created some folds, folders and files here. You can see that under my C Think Automation folders, I have created single file. This is for first test case and multi, uh, file one and file two. I will be compressing these two files into a single zip file. And I have some folders created under which I have some files as well placed. So I will be converting these two folders into a single zip file now let's see one by one right the first step will be wh what you need to do for this again and in the source you need to give what is a file or what are all the folders you want to compress it again now i am going to compress a single file called single file compress xlsx i'm going to compress this and what will be your destination this destination will be any folder or directly in your local or wherever you have access even it can be in a took drive as well so it needs to be end with dot zip so that the zip file will be created automatically right yeah again you can create something called overwrite equal to true or you can leave as it is if you if you do overwrite equal to true then it you, even if if the directory is exist and some file is already there it will replace the existing file or it will create this new directory for you right let's just execute this now so i'm just executing this you can see that the test case is passed now if i go to the same folder where i have shown earlier you can see that single file the zip file is created under which you can see that excel file is also come in this encompass state right like this, I'm going to compress these two files, file one and file two, into a single zip file now. So I'm just going to do the second step, multiple files. To compress a multiple files or folders, what you need to do, you would need to give all your files with uh, colon separated. You can see that semicolon separated. If you give that, whatever files you are mentioning, all these files will be put together in a single zip file. So I have given the file one and file two in a semicolon format. I'm going to just execute this now. You see that multiple files is created now under which you can see a couple of files are already stored, right? In same way, you can also compress multiple folders. You can see it here, folder one and folder two. I'm just not including any file extension like Excel, like something like that. I'm just included the directories file one and file two under which I have some file placed already. Now I'm going to zip the entire folder itself, couple of folders 
into your into your new folder uh, new file called multiple folders right let me just execute this now so you can see that execution is in progress and you can see that multiple folders that zip file is created under which all those folders are kept as it is in the earlier stage right the other thing again you you have this file created already called multiple folders.zip if you want to replace this in your next step for example in your day-to-day -day automation you will be downloading the files from the application every time you execute the test case you need to replace the older file so for that i'm just giving the overwrite equal to true where i'm gonna re-execute same test case this will be replacing the multiple folders right by default it will be no if you did not give the uh, override uh, with any value it will take the false and it will throw an error message something like this for example i am just deleting this now i already have the multiple folders file right let me just re-execute this the tosca will throw an error message saying that the file or directory is already exist you can see that zip file with the name already exists so if you want to replace it you need to explicitly give us true something like this right let's move to second part how to unzip to unzip the zip file you need to give the uh, archive path that is nothing but the zip file path and the destination path you can give a folder name a, um, folder name and in that folder the zip file will be extracted and placed over there again as said earlier you can give override as true based on your scenarios right let me just execute i have something called multiple folders uh, zip file already created as part of earlier execution now i'm gonna extract this into a folder called unzip testing and i will be seeing all this folder one folder two all those stuff right let me just execute this now the execution is completed you can see that in the folder the unzip testing folder is created and the folder one folder two all, all those stuff is extracted with the excel files or the right that's all i want to demonstrate today if you want to uh, learn more tosca features in 2024.1 like we have also covered barcode and qr code automation there are some new standard modules is in place and if you want to learn more about tosca and other cutest uh, products keep subscribe my channel thank you all bye bye